Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG4 Ray, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. I'm getting a little worried, I'm going to be honest, because winter should be coming soon. And then I'm going to be exposed on this side. Maybe I'll put some more traps down over here. Uh, maybe move my rain collectors. I got a lot of stuff I'd like to do today. First and foremost is to have this dumbass collect. I'm sorry, that's that was mean. You didn't deserve that. I'm sorry, Kelvin. Um, have this wonderful human being right here. Uh, gather me a bunch of stone and we're gonna continue working on the wall as you can see here I've got some height on the wall, which is pretty nice and we're gonna work on the door now I tried a couple things with the door before I started recording What the heck is this? Hold on. Hold that thought. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I got attacked by babies the other night and um, it's weird I guess there's just one straggler back there. Anyway, I tried quite a few things for the door and nothing really worked. Uh, I could just chop a regular door into the stone. I could do that. And, and I still might. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest, if I'm going to or not. It would look kind of... It would be efficient and effective, but it would look kind of foolish, I think. Um, I think what I want to do now is I want to just leave the area open. I tried actually making defensive walls through here, but it just didn't work out properly. Uh, and, you know, I'm thinking like, okay, Kelvin needs to get out of here and get stuff. So, if I have a door, it's probably going to be open all the time anyway. Um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, a regular door would probably be the best solution. But it would just look awful. I'm thinking about leaving this just completely open and just having traps like a little kill zone right here. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a kill zone. I haven't made a kill zone in a while. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made one in the in the Sons of the Forest. And the cool thing is if I get a kill zone, I can start working with the, um, the spear throwing traps, which should be pretty fun. And hopefully everyone will just filter in here. So that's what I'm going to go for. We're gonna do a kill zone. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have him stop uh, getting uh, stone anyway, because I'm gonna have to have him get uh, uh, a stick soon, because I want to do more traps, and you know, it's gonna be a lot of sticks. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up. We'll just put this right here for now. Yeah, I mean, if if we have a kill zone, if we could filter them into a kill zone, we could really decimate them. Like seriously. I think I used the kill zone in my first uh, Sons of the Forest series, but um, I think we were setting off our own traps at that point, so it wasn't really good. Now that we don't set off our own traps, you have an option to not set off your own traps. Uh, kill zone's much more efficient. Um, some people are telling me to use those spikes uh, that you can kind of stick in the ground. You, you I made them over here uh, before I chopped down the... the um... <laughs> what, what are you doing over... Oh, he's getting stone. I guess this is the closest stone. Anyway, I made him over here. They're like, you just stick a stick in the ground, you hit it with the axe, it turns into a spike. The problem is I run into those things all the time. They really hurt me. Like, a lot. So, I'm not saying I won't use them, but... Uh, I'm probably going to use them, but it, um, not right now. We'll see. I don't want them just willy-nilly anywhere. I want them in specific areas, built in a specific way. Alright, so you can see right here, we have a problem. This might be the end of this wall, right? Because you can't build any farther. Look, red. It's red. Nope. Nope. I figured out how to deal with this. So you just line it up as best you can. Um, line it up as best you can. It looks pretty... pretty. De oh, there you go. And you do this. Boom. I love it. I'm so glad I figured that out. <laughs> So glad. Usually when I like quote unquote figure something out, it's because I saw it on a YouTube video. But now I figured that out myself. Okay, so this should go Oh look at that. Oh, well no no, that's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Four. I can always restart the game if I want if I want more stone in the area. I might very well do that. And yeah, we'll just make a little kill zone here. I think it's gonna be pretty dope. Um I don't like the way the land is kind of a, a little, you know. Eh, the land is going to be a little challenging here, but it should be okay. Um, I do want to... Yeah, that's the one. Okay, we're going to chop down some trees here, too. Um, oh, chainsaw! Chainsaw, I forgot. Is there fuel? No, there's no fuel for the chainsaw. It's an electric chainsaw. I'm thinking of the chainsaw from uh, the first forest. Oh, right. In, 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 in. There we go. Who needs axes, bro? I mean, it's not very fast, I guess, but... I might have been chopping it down the wrong way. I'm also going to get rid of that stump. Because I want the tree out of there. What the hell? What are you doing? Stop massaging the stump and take it out. There you go. <laughs> it's like he's massaging it. It's like, what, what the heck? I hope that stump's paying you good money for that. 
Bam, chink, and bam, wow. Okay. By the way, I've never heard that. I've never heard of that in a an adult film before. <laughs> bam, chink, and bam. I don't know. Maybe in the eighties. I didn't watch them in the eighties though. I didn't have access to them. I was a child. Yeah. What a time, right? Back when children didn't have access to that stuff. Wow. <laughs> what a world we live in. Well, I guess if the parents are doing their jobs, I still don't have access to it, but... Anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and chop down this other tree. And we'll get rid of this stump right here. What? Why does he do it like that? There you go. And then get rid of this one right here. Okay. It's, it's definitely faster. It's not as faster as I would like, although I think if you eat the proper foods and you get the proper buffs, you could probably cut it down faster with your arms. That's what people are telling me. But that's okay. I like the chainsaw. It's pretty dope. I mean, how fast do you expect it to chop anything down? It's an electric chainsaw. They can't be that powerful. You know? Like, I would imagine they probably barely cut anything. Unless you, like... I don't know. Maybe there's, like, really expensive ones out there. I don't have a lot of, uh... Experience with chainsaws. There we go. So now the front is nice and open. And, you know, if we wanted to, we could even turn this to the side and, and make, like, a zigzag kill zone if we really wanted to. But I don't think I want to do that. I think we'll just make a straight kill zone. I don't think we have to go crazy with it. This isn't, like, tower defense type of stuff. Plus, if I put, like, uh, traps everywhere, they're just going to get mauled before they even get to the kill zone. And when they get to the kill zone... The kill zone will finish the job. Right. Yeah, Kelvin's going really far. I think when he comes back, I'm going to restart the game so he can get more stone in the area. Just restarted the game, saw the stone come back, and this is what I got going on right here. It's a little dark here, even, even with the sun out, but that's okay. It should be pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up some dope traps. Um, and we need. Oh, you know what? I'm going to set up a new trap. I'm going to set up the spear trap because I, I've never like done that one yet. And, and this would be... The reason I don't set up the spear trap is because, like, it's, you know, it's going to be tough because, like, you really kind of want a corridor if you're going to have, like, a projectile. So, here we go. Uh-oh. Is, is that a deer? Let's set that off. Bird? Yeah, it looked like a bird. Or maybe a squirrel or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, it's going to take C4. Damn, dude. I don't think I have any C4. And C4 is... I'm going to take C4 to throw spears. Yeah, I don't think I have any C4. Maybe I can't make the spear trap. Let's go take a look really quick. We'll also feed our fires. You have to replace that um, firewood sometime soon. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, C4. And honestly, I need C4 for other things. You know? Uh, I kind of want to make it just to make it because I'm doing a, a YouTube video. But honestly, like, if I'm going to be perfectly frank with you guys, I don't think it's worth it. Like, that C4 would be much better going into an explosive arrow. So I do have some C4 here, um, and again, even though I think it's not worth it, I'm going to I'm gonna do it anyway. Like I said, I'm doing a Let's Play. I want to show off as much as possible, and that's that. So let's go ahead and make that trap, and yeah, there we go. I guess, I don't know how far you're supposed to put it back. I guess when, it, when they walk over that little line in front, that'll trip it. So, I don't know, like right there. I think I want it back farther. I don't want it to be like in my way. All right, I don't know. That seems good. All right, so we're going to need some logs. There we go. Get some logs. Beautiful. Um, oh, that'll be for firewood. I will chop that later. And what's next? Uh, oh, bones. Wait, I have bones on me. And a battery, C4, sticks, wire. Hopefully I have enough wire. I don't have a ton of wire. Wire is such a mother effort to get. And the thing is, I can go get wire. I know a spot where I can go to get wire in the bunker. And I could just reload the game and come back and get two wire every time. And it is the most boring, unfun thing I ever do. And I don't love doing it. So I don't do it. Oh, oh you can shoot it. Oh, you can actually shoot it. How do you, like, re put the spears back? Um... Does it have to be out? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure to put spears back in it. Where'd the spears go? I don't see them. Uh, uh, there they are. Yeah, the thing's got, you know, pretty good aim. Okay, so we can sure everything's okay. 
All right, how do I put the spears back? Oh, X, okay. Does it have to be out of spears? Oh, you know why I couldn't? Oh, what the heck? Oh, okay, hold on. Hold that thought. Come on. Walk in front of this thing. I think he, it looks like he's stuck. All right, buddy. Your time's done. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, I think the reason I couldn't put spears in it was because I didn't have any on me, which makes sense. I don't think this thing's going to be overly useful, but, you know, whatever. It's fun. It's all in fun. Okay, so it's got four spears left in it. Yep, X. All right, cool. So you know what I should do? I should make a spear rack right next to it. I haven't made a spear rack yet. I haven't really needed to. So let's go ahead and make a spear rack, and we'll put that right here. Maybe we should put it up here. Like right here. No, I don't want to put it there. Um, I'll just put it here. It should be okay here. There we go. And I don't have any spears. How do I not have any spears? All right, well, when the enemies drop spears, I'll pick them up and get more spears. I'm not going to make spears because I don't need to. I'll just pick them up from the enemies. Maybe. Actually, I haven't seen a spear in a while. That might not be a... That might not be an option. Hey, what's up, buddy? Um, why don't you get me some stones for a change? This guy's got the most mundane tasks. I feel so bad for him. Nobody's going to watch his YouTube videos because all he's doing is gathering stones. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're good there. All right. So that thing I don't think is very good, but I've done it in the interest of being a YouTuber. So we're going to put this out here. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing I would like to do is the real trap that I like is the... Maybe we should try the grinder again. Maybe the grinder will be good in this in this area because it's so closed. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go for it. Let's do it. I mean... It's like such... It's so enclosed that I think this thing could really devastate the enemy. All right, let's go get some stone. Here, I'll help you pick up some stone, buddy. Look at me go. See? Am I not merciful? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Hold on. Hold that thought. Sticks. We'll just throw the stone right there. I should go check this out, honestly. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, hello. Yeah. Come on. Follow me. To victory, jackass. What'd you get? No, you're not getting up. I'm gonna hit you right in spine. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Is he setting off those traps or am I? I guess I was, but it's weird. Sometimes I do set off my own traps. I don't know what's up with that. I think I just saw a skin pouch. Cool, cool, cool. Get this thing out of here. Get out of here. Wait, stupid thing. Whoops, I don't know what I just ate. <laughs> Hope it was good for me. Alright, get this out of here. Do these things matter? Like, can I leave them there? Or will they make... Will they, I, I figure they signal the enemy to attack more often. But I don't know if that's the case. I mean, I guess I could just get rid of them because they're ugly. Eh, who am I to judge? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's get this thing made. Let's get this grinder made and see if it's going to be any good. I don't know. We're just kind of trying stuff, you know? We're trying stuff, and we're, we're kind of seeing what works. So we need a bunch of sticks. I gotta have this guy give me sticks soon. That grinder takes 64 sticks. That's insane. That's insane. That thing better do some serious damage. Okay, we're about to put the Knight V in. It's good to be able to use this thing. I don't like it as, like, a vehicle, personally. But it'll go good in that, uh, in that trap. Do I have enough... Yes, I do. Beautiful. Alright. So the next thing I would like to do is put up a... This is... These things are okay. You know. Um, but this thing right here, this is the trap. This is the main trap, man. This thing is awesome. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this right here. Uh, sometimes, you see... 
it stays on the angle that you pick it up on. So sometimes you can't replace it because it's on a different angle than the surface you're putting it down on. So you just got to make, uh, make another one, break that one. You right click to break it and you will get everything back. So you're not losing anything by doing that. You're just kind of breaking it down and rebuilding it. So let's go ahead and take the spinny trap. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I looked it up. You know that cross thing I was telling you about? It has absolutely no effect on the game whatsoever, which is very disappointing. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to move these over here too. Yeah, I was very disappointed. I think the, I think that cross light trap, whatever, it's not a trap. It's just a cross that with a bunch of lights on it. I think that should kill demons. Just like the other cross does. Hey, lady. Where are you going? I thought we were having a good time. Where are you going? Ah, uh, women always run away from me. Story of my life. Okay. Let's come through here. And now that we got that cleared out, we're going to go ahead and put these down in here. I want two of them. Side by side. Damn, that's going to be devastating. If they really do go for choke points... They're in trouble. They're in serious trouble. Unless I don't have batteries and stuff. You know, I could take some of the other ones apart. I do like having these in here. You know? Because um, if they come from the water, I could use these as, as backups. Um, but man, it's getting expensive. Do I have the battery and the wire? Yeah, I don't have the wire. I'm going to have to take some, some apart. I don't know which ones I want to take apart, though. I don't think this one ever gets used, if I'm going to be honest. So we're just going to take that apart. Yeah, that one doesn't ever get used. And I could use the what I could use, I could use the um the fly swatter traps on the outside, and I could use these spinny traps on the inside. Alright, let's grab some more of these. That'll probably be a better way to do things anyway. Uh, anything else? Oh, not seeing anything. Got some mushrooms there. That's really nice. Just gotta make sure they're not poisonous. If they're not, I love mushrooms. All right, now let's build this one. Oh, I just heard an enemy out there. Where are they? There you are. Okay, well, it didn't work as intended. Hey, stop shooting the trap. <laughs> he's uh, he's already dead. I mean, he is dead, dead. Like, ridiculously dead. Now, it didn't work as intended, but that's because the wall's not finished yet. I mean, I'm definitely going to do more for the wall. Where's my spear? Oh, that's right. I don't have a spear anymore. Because I, I put all my spears in the thing. <laughs> Oops. Maybe I will make some spears. Because I do like spears to fight the babies. And there's one instance where spears are pretty good. I don't have any more light bulbs yet. Like hell, I don't have any light bulbs. Wait. I took apart a thing. There should I should have got all the light bulbs I needed. Um. Okay, so I definitely lost a light bulb. Which is a bit of a bummer. But honestly, oh, there it is. I was say, it's not really worth like going around looking for it, but whatever. I found it. All right, there we go. <sighs> Thinking about hooking up a spotlight out here. I don't like spotlights. And I, I don't like running wires, basically. Um, the spotlights I can kind of work with, but the running wires is a pain in the ass because I don't have any wires and like it's kind of hard to run them properly. Um, I'm going to have to take some time and just reload over and over again to get more uh, wire. They, they don't put anywhere near enough wire in the game. Like, it's not even close. I, I think we got to keep building this wall. Yeah, we could probably take these stone out on the bottom now. We don't need those. And put right where they jumped in. Wait, did I set that off? Wait, I can set that off? I don't like that. Wait, what the heck is going on here? Why is there a stone on the side of it? Wait, what's going on? It's like I dropped a stone. I can't... I don't want to get that stone. That's going to annoy me. Alright, oh, killing me. Alright, I guess I just got to leave it there. Let it go, Cage. Let it go. Damn, that sucks. Oh, I saw some more enemies out there. Let's see if I can get them to come into the kill zone. Doesn't look like he knows what to do. Um, some people told me in the comment section that they're going to be able to jump over your walls no matter what you do. And yeah, that would be really upsetting. 
Like, I, I don't like that. Uh, if that's really the case, then... Yeah, if, that, if that's really the case, if they can seriously jump over your walls no matter what, uh, unless you do wooden walls, then stone walls are not viable. And that kind of sucks. I'm going to continue doing stone walls. If they jump over them, they jump over them. But yeah, that does... That is very... um. That's, that's disappointing. I don't understand why you would give a stone and like encourage us to make stone walls and then make it so they can get over the stone walls. Like what? Like why? What's the point of that? Explain to me. Make it make sense. Uh, I don't even know where that guy got over the wall. I guess he could I guess he could get over it at any point. I'll just keep making like the wall higher. I don't know. <laughs> what am I what am I gonna do? <laughs> the kill zone's working great though. They walked in that kill zone and just got smoked. Yeah. And the uh, the kills the kill areas on the way to the kill zone are also working great. If I <sighs> That is frustrating. All right, fine. Follow me into the kill zone, douchebag. Up, oh, looks like you fall down. Go boom. All right. I mean, the kill zone's great. I just gotta <laughs> try and keep them out. Okay. Um, but I think when you sleep, the enemies spawn in. Because I was just sleeping, and I walked, out, and I'm thinking to myself, how are enemies getting past my traps continuously only when I'm sleeping? Like they just like they're always in my base. Like I can't keep them out and then I was thinking I don't know man maybe they're spawning in and then I walked out of my house and I I think I might have saw an enemy literally spawn in uh, because I came out really quickly I, I'm not really sure um, oh hungry um yeah I'm, I'm not really sure I, I I can't I can't prove it but I think they're spawning in inside the base which, um, I mean, I had a lot of, like, enemies in my base when I came out in the morning. Next time, next time I, uh, wake up in the morning, and I have, and, like, it's because of enemies, I'll record it, and you guys can, um, see it with me. As a matter of fact, it might happen right now, let's see. So there's no enemies in the base. Now, yes, yeah, some enemies can jump over my wall, fair enough. But, at the end of the day, there was, like, a lot of enemies in here, and there was, like, some enemies that I don't ever see jumping over walls. And I have a feeling they just spawned. Let's see, let's see through the night. Okay, no, we're good. All right, fair enough. Not really an issue. Um, but yeah, one thing I, I do know I could do is I could put spikes. Remember those spikes I was talking about earlier that I wasn't sure if I wanted to use them because I always run into them? They would probably work outside my wall. I have two issues with it, though. Um, first of all, let me show you what I'm talking about, just so you know what I'm talking about as I explain to you my thought process. So if you put like... Um, hold on. There we go. If you Oh, you can't even put these that close? Well, I think you could force it that close. If you put one down, and then try and connect another one. What the hell is this? Where did that come from? Okay, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> and you do this, you can you can continue putting these down. And then what you can do is, you hit it with the axe. Hold on. Hold, hold that thought. Damn, I don't know what was there. But it's it ain't there no more. And I'm pretty sure I got hit with the... Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it got hit with the uh, spear launcher thingy as well. All right. it's, it's not only dead, it's like mutilated. All right, anyway, back to my thought. All right, so yeah, you could, I, I could probably do this. Now this would probably help keep things off of the, uh, um, off of the wall. And then what you want to do is, if you're gonna do that, you also want to put down stones all around it, um, to to solidify it because they're pretty weak right now. Um, and then right there, if anything tries to jump over my wall, they're probably going to stab themselves. And the thing is, with my issues of, of running in... Oh my god, that thing just headshot a deer. With this... <laughs> that thing's nasty. Alright, come on. Um, can I get it back? See, I, I don't see the spear... Oh, here they are. So maybe they're not hitting anything. They might not be hitting anything. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. So, probably isn't the best trap, but whatever. It's, it's fun. I love hearing it go off. Anyway, I won't have to worry about those traps uh, stabbing me because they're in a spot where I, you know, I, as long as I'm not totally stupid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to walk into them myself. And they should hopefully keep the enemies off the wall. Now, there's two reasons I don't want to use these. Number one is because we, we've already done this, man. This was like the last time we did the forest. I was hoping to have new stuff. 
uh, if it's effect if it's effective though it's effective i'm probably gonna do it but number two is it is so boring to put these down i already have to build a wall and then i have to build walls in this thing and then i have to like now put spikes down and hit them with the ah just <laughs> i was hoping for more elegant solutions you know in, in the regular forest you had the defensive wall spikes you just plug them into a wall i think we should have that and it should be for stone and for logs you know you should be able to do something with this stone to make it so enemies can't climb over it and you should be able to have some kind of automatic lock on spike thing that is a lot more elegant more quality of life thing than we have now so all in all i'm pretty happy with this kill zone it's been pretty devastating so far and um yeah it's been it's been a lot of fun i think it's going to be pretty good uh like i like i said i don't know about this thing but that's okay. It's pretty fun to hear it going off. Uh, and I got to keep building up these walls, um, no matter what. Maybe if I get them high enough, the people won't be able to jump over them. I don't know. But we'll just have to see how things go. All right, guys, I'm going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.